What's up, y'all? It's your girl, New. I'm back with another video. Video. Y'all, I really came here to talk about a bunch of nothing and eat my sushi that I have. I don't know why my face looks fat, y'all. I do have a fat face, but I got some shrimp tempura. So good. Some Doritos. And... A minute mid primary apple juice and of course my children went to Dunkin Donuts today for egg and cheese on croissant and donuts and I got me a vanilla frosted donut mm. hey guys I'm back I have some little sauce here anyway y'all I wanted to come here and talk to y'all about something thank you so my daughter got me a water i need a water too i'm a water kind of girl so i like juice soda occasionally <clears throat> i have my chopsticks mm -hmm. i don't always get messed up mm -hmm. so I wanted to say, <laughs> no, the, the rice just flew out my mouth. Mm. That's why they say it's not good to talk and eat. It's not. Anyway, next day. Uh -uh. I wanted to say if you guys are having a hard time or going through something in your life, Pray that off of y'all. Listen, remember I was saying how I work from home. However, working from home is about to stop. So I'm like, I woke up this morning and I don't know who you guys believe in or anything like that. As you can see, I'm a Muslim. So, but I'm not, I don't judge people based off of what they believe in or what they don't believe in. Whatever you believe in is fine with me. That is your business, not mine. I have no judgment about it. However, I don't mean to go all spiritual on you guys, but I'm going to go there because God only allowed me to be nervous for about 10 minutes before I thought of a solution to my problem, which I don't even consider a problem because my job, I've been working in my job for like, a year and some a year i believe however the working from home part of it is about to end and they have positions open in like harrisburg and stuff like that i'm not going always to harrisburg to work so what i did was an employer had reached out to me about four weeks ago and i wasn't ready to take the job however i told her i would give her a call you know if the position is still available when i was ready to work Okay, guys, so for those of you who don't know, I have a CNA license. I've had a CNA license since, like, 2015. And I think it's something good to always be able to fall back on no matter where you are in your life because those jobs, I'm telling y'all, hospitals, nursing homes, whatever setting you want to do and with a CNA license, they're calling you, point blank, period. And that's my word because that I have experienced that personally. I called this job this morning like, hi, you know, this is such and such. And I'm reaching out to you because I know when you called me, I wasn't ready for employment. However, I'm ready for employment now. And is the position still available? And granted, it was. And it was something even better available position-wise, time-wise. Guys, when I tell y'all, don't even sleep on God. Like, don't ever, ever, ever sleep on God. Like, Pray when your life is good, pray when your life is bad, and pray when your life is okay. Because things like this was a prime example of why I stay prayed up. Like, no man, sir, what? A girl is going to pray. I'm going to curse you out all day and pray at night. I don't care. One thing about me, I'm going to pray. I'm never not going to pray. It's never going. I'm never not going to pray. And I pray that I never not pray. Like, it's that deep to me. Anyway, my job isn't over yet, but it's over in about two two months. 
and I want to have a black backup plan. So what I'm going to do is start the position at this new job. Now, I'm only going to start off as part-time. I explained this to her. You know, eventually I want to do go full-time or, you know, be pulled to be able to pick up shifts because I'm going back to college September 27th. y'all y'all know i love my school i told y'all that and i'm going back so another thing i'm going to start slow like that and i said i believe i'm gonna stay pulled the whole time i'm working there simply because i don't want to slack in school my ultimate goal is to finish college and you know become a excuse me a nurse practitioner Eventually, I want to be a doctor, though. Mm -hmm. So, you know, my goal is to pass and do good through college and work at the same time and be available for my children all the way around because I have to be. And I have no problem with that. So, yeah, that's what I wanted to come on here and tell y'all today. Have faith in your God. Always pray to your God, even when your life is good, bad, ugly, in between, or awesome. Pray. Don't ever let that not be a part of your daily routine. Ever, never, never. Because you know why? I say all that to say, God will never stop looking out for you. Never. A prime example. I have had a very, 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 very blessed life. Despite all the things that I may have encountered or, you know, went through that, that I would describe as bad or you know, not a part of my not a part of my plan, excuse me. Y'all. Like when I tell y'all get yourself together, please do it. It's beneficial to you all the way around. Point blank period. Anyway, guys, I wanted to ask y'all, how many of y'all had children on here? Comment down below and let me know how you feel about your children going back to school. I am so indecisive sometimes. Excuse me. And this is the time I'm very indecisive, guys. Mm. I'm sorry. Mm -mm -mm. So good. So guys, my daughter is starting kindergarten this year. And I'm nervous for her. But I know she'll do good. I think she'll do good. My son is going to third grade. He's a big girl, a big boy. Why was I about to say girl? He's a big boy. He's a big boy. He's a big boy. He's a big boy. And I don't know what school I'm going to send him to. I don't know if I'm going to send them to an Islamic school or like a charter school. My son been to a charter school and I love that. But I think I do want to try out the Islamic school to see <clears throat> what I, how I like it. And, you know, to see how it affects my children. Comment down below. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I just wanted to tell you all that today. And I wish all of my subscribers good things. Uh, a good life. And a happy, healthy life. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.